Introduction If certain experts are to be believed, we are currently facing a crisis the likes of which we have never seen before. We are being faced with a global obesity epidemic. Since 1980, the number of people suffering from obesity has literally more than doubled, with there being 1.4 billion overweight adults and 500 million who can be considered as obese. As far as children go, the numbers just keep on climbing with certain countries seeing more than a quarter of their kids suffering from obesity. Long story short, if things keep on going the way they do, then in a few decades most of the world's population will be obese. If, of course, we survive that long. In order to fight this great plague, it is important what it stems from. Just like with any huge problem, there are numerous causes in play here. For starters, we are leading increasingly sedentary lifestyles. Long gone are the days when we plowed fields 12 hours a day or dug up coal in mines. Long gone are the days when most people had to dedicate their working time to physical labor. These days, most people work sitting, or perhaps standing still, and needless to say, there isn't much effort involved in that, at least in a physical sense. The problem, however, is that even though we reduced our level of activity, we kept on increasing how much we ate. As a result, our bodies simply aren't subjected to enough exercise to burn all the excess calories we gain, which leads to a noticeable weight gain. However, a lack of exercising coupled with overeating is not the only source of this problem. Another cause for what we are observing today can be traced to economic fluctuations in regards to food prices. As it happens, in most cases, the cheaper a food is, the more filling and unhealthy it is. More specifically, the fast food industry is being referenced. Junk food restaurants have established themselves in countless poorer countries and economically disadvantaged areas, providing people with cheap and fattening alternatives that allow them to save money. What's more, these alternatives are sometimes even tastier. In the end, the point is that the cost of healthy foods exceeds that of unhealthy ones. Now, with what we've just covered and as we begin this guide, it's important to realize that the world is in a bad state, health-wise. But you don't have to accept what is happening in society. You are about to learn the seven keys to transform your body, and quite literally, it will transform your life. So dive in, read, absorb, and put into practice exactly what you learn here and see the change happen. You have the power in your hands to change your health and live the life you want to. Rest assured that in the end, your body will thank you for it.